G'day everyone, today we're going to be looking at broad beans, or fava beans, whatever you want to call them. Those wonderful legumes that add nitrogen to the soil and also taste delicious. This is my garden bed where the broad beans are, rather overgrown, but we'll clean it out, harvest our broad beans and see what the result is. G'day everyone, we're going to get the broad beans in and if we have a look some of them are actually nice and big and I prefer them that way rather than small now what we're going to do is we're going to cut these off at the base leave the nitrogen fixing part um, in the soil now the broad beans have been in for two reasons First, most obvious one is we really like broad beans. And the second one is as a nitrogen fixer in the soil, but also these leftover green bits will make a really good mulch just over the back here where I'm going to put the um, sheep mesh. So we're just going to make sure we get all of them off. Drop them down there. Cutting them off at the, at the base like so. Again, that's to leave the nitrogen fixing bit in the soil. I'll put a link down in the description on how we use broad beans for um, green manure and nitrogen fixing, those sort of things. Because I've just read it. And it'd be handy to know, wouldn't it? These will re-sprout as well. Which means we might get more broad beans, or more likely, I'm going to dig it back through and replant something else, because it's going to be too warm for broad beans soon. This is really rewarding part of gardening. Just sitting here out in nice cool weather, a bit cloudy today, harvesting stuff you've grown yourself, knowing that it's healthy. Then I haven't used any horrible fertilizers or chemicals at all on this get the weeds out while we're at it so onward now i believe this is our nitrogen we come in here and we have a look at all these little nodules i believe are nitrogen but i'll just confirm that why they're looking on the interwebs Not a bad haul off one broad bean plant. From one broad bean we've gained two, four, six pods with one, two, three, four, five. So one produced 30. Not a bad return on investment. So out of that little garden bed there, which is a, I suppose a f four foot maybe, meter and a half by about the same, meter and a half, I got that, which I don't think is too bad, 25 litre drum there. In addition, I'm going to grab a couple of carrots out and we'll have these for dinner tonight. Let's grab some carrots. I'll let a couple of these carrots go to seed, again because the bees love it. Haven't had any luck growing carrots from seed, but let's pop a couple out. Ah, it's a beauty. Not too bad at all. When they start to widen like this, and they get that stalk in the middle, that means we're kaput. That's gone all woody and hard in the middle. And you'll see that the carrot's actually quite small. We'll compost that one because it won't be pleasant to eat. But we've got a few. <coughs> That'll be enough for dinner tonight. Carrot each. Okay, harvest done. Wiles out there. Got these carrots which we'll have for dinner tonight along with mushrooms, of course. And I've started peeling the broad beans. Separated them to two lots large ones 
and small ones. So I shall continue to uh, prepare them. Still got a lot to go, and we'll have some of these for dinner as well. Onward. Whew. Well, that was a lot of peeling of broad beans. But what we've ended up with is a bowl, which Rufus seems very interested in, don't you, Ruth? Do you want broad beans? A bowl of small ones, which will cook fairly quickly. And a much bigger bowl of large ones. So these are decent sort of size, and the way I like them anyway. Oh, that's dirty. Don't worry about that. That's just a bit of dirt. I'm going to give them a wash now. And then we'll see how we uh, prepare them for freezing. Righto, we've zeroed the scale. And as we can see, 1.7 kilos of the large. And just over 400 grams of the small. So there we go. A couple of kilos of broad beans out of a probably two, maybe three square meters. Not too bad. Would have liked very much to have planted a lot more. But unfortunately, time didn't allow me to clear out the beds and get them in in time. Maybe next year. Okay, how do we freeze them? That is the next question. To prepare them for freezing, we just need to parboil them a little bit to kill off any bacteria that's sitting around them. Uh, make sure they stay nice in the freezer. So I've got some water boiling here. I shall get my large broad beans, put in as many as I can. Well, they'll all fit. We'll bring that back to the boil. Once it's boiling again, just a couple of minutes, we'll take them off, throw them in the sink with some cold water just to cool them down, put them into freezer bags, and then in the freezer. The small ones, I'm gonna take about half of those, and we're having them for dinner, along with some carrots I just picked, and a whole bunch of king oyster mushrooms to go with our snags. I always seem to be doing snags on these videos. We don't eat just sausages, you know, we do eat other things. It's just every time I do these, we're having snaggers. All right, we drop them into some cold water just to stop them cooking, and then into the freezer bags. So we'll package it up, three handfuls. That's one person. That's two person. And that's three person and maybe just a pinch more. So that is one meal for us. Leftovers can go in here and we'll mix it with some peas or some other greens to make up the, the greenery that we need to eat. So there we go. We've basically got one, two, three, four, five and a half, sorry, six and a half meals off our broad bean crop, which as I said, was only a couple of square meters. So that's how we do our broad beans, freeze them up. As I said, I'd like to have done a lot more, but unfortunately I didn't. Great for the soil, great to eat, great for compost too, all of those shelves that we've got. The earthworms will love them. Let me know how you do your broad beans. How do you grow them? How do you cook them? We just like them sauteed. Let me know in the comments. So like and subscribe, please. Enjoy life. I'll catch you in the garden.